Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast and the problem reads that if the crate 50kg crate starts from rest and achieves a velocity of 4 meters per second when it travels a distance of 5 meters to the right, determine the magnitude of force P acting on the crate, the coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the ground with mu k equal to 0.3. This particular problem, we already solved it in the first video, you can check it out, so we are just dealing with the second problem. Both these problems are coming from the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics, our 14th edition by RC Ibella. So we are on case 2, which is 13-4. Uh, okay. So there we go. So let's write down the components uh, here, the pre body diagram. We'll have this component. We'll have this component. We'll have the weight acting through the center of gravity. We'll have the normal force, we'll have uh, the, uh, the friction opposing the motion, and then let's say we have also this diagram we are calling the kinetic diagram, like so. Okay, there we go. Uh, this is W, this is N, this is FK, kinetic friction. Uh, this is P. A cos 30 in our case this is unknown this is what we are searching for so let's be mindful again we have been told this is important it is starting from rest so what do we start with let's start with summation of forces in the y because we will need n for us to calculate fk so this is m a y but we know to say our a y is equal to zero so here we'll have uh, n plus p sine 13 uh, minus w equal to 0. Therefore, our n will just be equal to w uh, minus, uh, minus uh, p sine 13, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we know that our W is just mg, which is just equal to 15 by 9.81. And our P is unknown. Okay. We don't know P. So our N is just going to be equal to um, 50 by 9.81. Um, 50 by 9.81. 81 which is uh, a 490.5 minus 0.5 p sine 30 is 0.5 so this is our n okay and let's move on to the next step which is summation of forces in the x equal to m a x so again here it's up to you to start with a x you can start with a x to find a x or you can start with the equation itself a full equation and so on Okay, let me come here where we have a bit of space. Uh, what do we have here? So we have P unknown again, cos 30 um, minus FK equal to MAX. Okay, our FK is just mu K times N. Okay, our mu K is just 0.3. Uh, what else and we know that our m is just 15 so if we wrote this it just becomes p cos 13 minus 0.3 times n and we found n as 490.5 minus 0.5 p right remember this okay and then this is equal to m which is 15 and x we can leave this equation at this stage if we want to so that we find ax uh, we find ax because we have all the information that will allow us to find x so we have uh, this depression there like so okay so let's quickly find ax so let's let, let's let's find x given b is equal to 
uh, 4 meters per second and then we have uh, s equal to uh, 5 meters okay 3 meters per second all right so we are going to use this particular uh, derived equation v d v a d s equal to v d v this comes from uh v d s d t remember and uh, a dv dt where we make the d subject to formula then we come up with that particular equation okay so this one we are going to integrate it uh, from zero because this is starting from rest okay to s uh, uh, to s and then from v i mean from zero uh, v naught is zero from zero to v so this just becomes a s this is s is equal to v squared divided by 2 which you can write as a is just equal to v squared divided by 2s okay our s we said is equal to 5 and our v is equal to 4 so we can plug in those values in there we have um, 4 squared divided by uh, 2 times uh, 5 okay so let's borrow this equation here let's borrow this equation how come everything is coming up okay we can write the other missing parts so let's bring it here and we bring it somewhere here that we have a bit of space uh, this was cos and then there we had the p so what we'll do is we'll get this and plug it there okay okay and this is just x, x is in the x direction all right and once we do so um uh, we have um uh, uh this is also p here so we have to make p subject to the formula how to make p subject to formula just one minute i bring this equation nearby here so it's equal to uh, 50 ax okay so let's do so so let's make i'm trying to say we bring this i am saying we bring this here all right so if we made p subject of formula then we'll have something like this p um p is equal to 50 by 4 squared divided by 2 times 5 okay um is this component here then we'll say minus this is point here this is plus 0.3 uh, 0 0.3 by 419.5 mm -hmm. then everything everything we are dividing by everything we are dividing by what do we have uh, cos 30 degrees um, cos 30 degrees plus 0.5 right mm -hmm. 0.5 by 3 0.5 by 0.3 okay yes therefore our p is just going to be equal to you can check out that so it's 50 by 4 squared divided by 10 plus 0.3 by 419.5 divided by cos 13 and uh, plus 0.5 by 0.3 All right so we get a 223.5 uh, uh, 7 newtons let me repeat this 450 by 4 squared divided by 10 plus 0.3 by 490 by 5 divided by cos 13 uh, plus 0.5 by 
Okay, two two three point five seven. Right. Um, I think this is about it. We have found the value of p. Uh, we have found the value of p given those parameters in the problem. So I hope this particular video was helpful. And if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing, and liking my channel. Bye bye, and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.